Hey, what's up guys, this is Art. Hey, check it out, today I'm gonna talk about training method, the old school training method. Uh, when I grew up in Poland, Europe, tough times, long story short, what do we used to eat? Can, a lot of rice um, and the vegetables, and potatoes, uh, uh, rice of course, and uh, noodles, you know, pasta, stuff of that nature, a lot of meat. And um, I, I remember first time I came to the gym, those guys, they were lifting heavy weights. And uh, one of the dudes I met, he was uh, in Olympic and national team, weightlifting team. That guy, he looked like he was 30 years old. Beard, you know, tall, legs squatting. I don't remember the, all the places they were in the gym, they squat a whole thing. Long story short, um, he was only 21 years old, you know? And, and I noticed that the guys that lay, weightlifting put a lot of toll on human body. Also what it does, uh, basically it puts a lot of stress. It's a similar stress, like a stress in the workplace. So guys, you know, very important, you know, when, when, uh, when you guys train, you know, pace yourself, always give 100%, but pace yourself and very important, the people with experience, they know their own strength. What that means, they know how far they can push before they break, break it down and they get injured or pull the muscle or something. And how many of us got injured? A lot. A lot of people got weight weightlifting. So anyhow, long story short, here we go again. The, the old school method, push, pull, you know? No machine, no fancy equipment, just dumbbells, bar, some Olympic weights, always Olympic weights. Don't use plastic or whatever they say. Walmart, this stuff doesn't work, guys. You have to have a legit five pound Olympic bar, lift bar, you know, yoke bar, you know, all this stuff. So when you lift, you do, for instance, chest, you do your back, you know, because the body is positive, negative, you know? So when you do bicep, right, you pull it, you also engage your tricep with the lift, right? If you do bench, you also engage your, 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 your lats. You, they, you engage your check, uh, chest muscle uh, and you engage your lats. You have to stabilize that bar, you know, you have to hold it up and, and won't let it uh, swing to the right or left. And you have to lift upward. So, uh, it's all pushing, but it's contracting really quick and as you push, as you lift. And it's many muscle fibers engaged in that single lift. So it's complex, uh, it's big compound movements, right? So if you do those exercises, you have to do front and back. Chest, back, right? Pull, push, right? Bicep, tricep, right? Quad, hamstring, right? You know, that's how our bodies are designed. And very important core. You don't have to have six pack, you don't have to be shredded, all vain, all grainy looking, you know, but very important. Core is crucial. People with a with the weak core, they get injured. They injure the lower back, you know? So the people who have injuries, they always have to work their core. And you know what? Very important to learn about your body, work against gravity, free weight, you know, body weight, very good. Uh, Olympic, uh, I mean, uh, straps with the, with the rings, uh, calisthenics, uh, runs, sprints, and figure out what's for you. You have endomorph, ectomorph, mesomorph, so many body types. So you have to figure out what division you add and how to train, how you want to look. But most important, what's working for you individually, for yourself, for the long run. So you reach your goals instead of being all staggered and not knowing what you want to do all right guys so this is it for today i appreciate you watching subscribe like let me know what's up later